Hey guys, on today's video, we're going to be updating your iPad to the latest iPad OS. So let's get started. Go right into your settings. Inside your settings, you're going to see an option here under general. You're going to see software update. But before we do that, your first option should say your name or your device's name. Just make a backup in there. And that's just because in case we always do that in case before we do any update. Now, if you don't have more space on your iCloud, don't worry about it. Hook it up to your computer. Make that backup in there. Also, if you're having any problems with this update, maybe you don't see it. You can also update it through your computer. So on PC, you would use iTunes and on Mac, you can use Finder. Anyways, once you're done that, you can go ahead and tap on software update. We're going to see this option here. This is the latest update. It's only a couple megabytes. We can go ahead and tap on download and install. It's going to ask you for a passcode if you have one. Then it's going to begin the downloading process. Afterwards, we just have to tap on install and then we're going to be done with the update. Now make sure to have at least 50% of your battery, but even if you have 100% of your battery, I still recommend hooking it up some electricity and that's especially with older iPads. Well, your battery isn't as good as it was in the beginning. So that's why it's just in case. Now, I also want to mention that older iPads, such as an iPad 2, for example, well, an iPad 2 stuck in iOS 9. And that's because the hardware itself wouldn't be able to handle an iOS 10 or 15 or anything like that. It just wouldn't be able to do that. And unfortunately, with the older iPads, there's nothing we can do about it. It just is that way. All iPads have a maximum update that they can go up to. And then you're kind of stuck in there. Now, I also want to mention, I do have a video that shows you how to download certain apps that maybe you're not being able to download on your older iPad. Well, there is a way around that. And I do have a separate video for that. But that's a different topic. All right. So once it has downloaded, we can just tap on install now. At this point, it's going to verify the update. We're going to see the iPad restart. Apple logo and a loading bar. So as mentioned, we would see an Apple logo and a loading bar. Next up, it's just going to be finished. All right. So it's just going to ask you for your passcode to get in and that's it. We can just go right into settings, software update and make sure that we are in the latest iOS, which is 15.6.1. That would be it for this video. If you guys have any comments, questions, you guys can write down here in comments area and don't forget to subscribe and rate. Thank you.